Hi everyone, quarter eight in the morning, I've been up a couple of hours, sussing the job out. Today is pretty serious, We're, uh, we've got the scaffolding up, and I'm attempting today to put, I just propped that door up there, both of those, um, I'm attempting today to try and fit the doors, and while I've got the scaffolding tower here, take this rotten beam out. Because the temptation is always to go stand on it, but it's too rotten. Look at that one there. So there's another beam further back, which looks secure and it's well supported. So I'm going to strip these off of the wood. Got my platform there then, and then I'm going to saw through this side. The far end of it has dropped, but I'm just going to take this section out to start with. See how that goes, and if I'm not successful, I'll find a prop and then do the other half. It doesn't need to be lifted so high because it's higher than the it's higher than the, the door, the, the, the French window door. So eventually, that's going to come down anyway. But I'm going to I'm going to start from below that point, if you get what I mean, and see where it takes us. Right, I'll film a little bit more later on when I've done a bit of so something. Took the, um, I've took the uh, cross members off this half from the post where it's rotten. That point, I want to try and remove this one. What I'm doing now is that one on there is a good strong supporting beam. I'm making sure that every one of these is being supported on that beam because this man here, look. This rotten one, which is coming out soon, it's not actually supported under there. So I'm going to go along here and make sure every one of these, before I cut them out, every one of these is being supported on the back, bottom end of that one. Then I'm going to take these these beams out, I'll saw through each of them, then I can cut this one down and take it out of the way, and that will give me room to play on here. Um, and we'll remedy it before I go what's happening with regards to covering it back up again but we're just going to take it nice and steady see how we get on have all of the cross beams blocked up now up to this point I've had a look some of these are nailed in as well which will help keep the weight off it but what I intend to do is to chop at that end I've got it blocked up there it's only going to drop an inch really um, hopefully as long as it doesn't slide but I want to chop it off there at the point where it's rotten should drop on them blocks and then I'm going to slice it up a foot a foot at a time and then when I come to one of these I'm going to chop the cross beams off as well and if it all goes to plan carefully um, I should have this whole area clear the rest of the roof safe and then it'll allow me to Use the platform with a lot more room to put the doors on. He says, we will move on and see how, how it progresses. Just replace the, the blade on the reciprocating saw for a better quality one and a better, bigger teeth one I think I need on this job. Ooh, I'll just come down onto my platform, show you what I've been up to. Right, so there's the broken bit at the point of breaking. That other half you can see has dropped, but I'm dealing with two separate issues because I want to work in this area first so I can get the doors on. Um, it's a bit precarious because that one that there wanted to drop out the wall at the end there. I don't want it just to drop. I want to be in control of it. So it's come away from all of the top beams, these cross beams, which I thought it would do at some point because of the weight. So what I've done, I've got a strap there. I'm going to cut them down into one foot lengths, chop one foot and then just this side of it, then move on and do the same bit further on, then I can chop this piece out. Um, slow process but I've got to do it safely. Another update. Managed to get all of them exactly how I wanted to do it. 
So now I've got a big open space, put a few more boards on there and then I can work safely, hopefully, to see if we can get these doors set. I know they're not, to, we're not fully finished yet, but I can, I've got the beams to do the top here. Um, these boards have got to come off and then I've just got to do the frontage on that. And that's that part of the job done. And then obviously to fill the gap in across the top and put the tiles back, which isn't a big job, but it's been wanting doing for the past month now because it's been open all that time. So I've got to crack on. But unfortunately, I've run out of groceries, so I've got to trail into the city now to get some food. Uh, might as well do it now as later. Back from the city, got my groceries in. 22, that, that wasn't bad going actually. Normally, you normally lose half a day, but I can have a quick bite of eat. Now I've got some food and then I'll get cracked on again with it. 5.22 of the evening and finally I've achieved one of the goals to be able to stand outside and look around this beautiful countryside but to do it I nearly give up so I'm not 100% convinced I've managed let me just switch switch it around so we can see right I've managed to hang that door and it's took me all afternoon, me thinking it's going to be a 10 minute job. I've had all sorts of fun and games. It's ended up falling over once on the roof. But this is what we're aiming for. Obviously we're not going to sit outside here on an old door. But that gives me the option of seeing it now, at least how it's going to happen. Uh, and I know the battle it's going to take me to get that other door on because I've got to down there is a pile of brick rammel and muck well not brick rocks and everything and I've got to make I've got to move the um, scaffolding over and I've got to build all that rock up again a bit further across to be able to do what I've done with this door um, and I'm hoping it'll go a bit better because this one has been a right pig if I'm honest with you but now I'm going to have a bit of tea and then I'm going to have to I think I'd get on and do one or two other little bits this evening because I've fallen behind a bit but I'm pleased that I've got one door on at least. Quarter to eight, time to call it a day. Um, this is alright but the problem is it doesn't shut on its own. It, it bolts on to its mate so I've put the wrong window on first. So at the moment that's not sitting right. There might be some adjustment for it, but I can't see anywhere where it shuts on its own. I think it's one of those that you've got to have its mate to close first onto it. But hey, how we'll have a look. Um, I've took the shuttering off this one. A few gaps at the bottom there. Look, I'll just take this um, side wood off, and then I'll set this side up. It looks like I'm going to have a day of um, cementing tomorrow, but I'm, I'm determined to try and get this other door on. It's, this one was a right pig and it's took me most of the day, so I'm anticipating this one being heavier. It might even take longer, but, but um, I'm determined to get it done. All right, so the other jobs will have to just wait. I'll just potter about doing some one or two more bits tonight, but I've nearly had enough. Okay. Well, today's um, little episode, once again, I didn't do what I planned to do, <laughs> it's often the case, but the brick pile, I've, uh, I've had a go at making a wall. Now the main reason for this is, apart from the fact that I've always wanted to have a go at doing one, is that to lay all this brick rammel out, I've got to get a level, get from that step there, down, into that room and then out Oops. and I don't know where it's going to end up so the plan was to build a little bit of a retaining wall there but Kaz likes quirkiness so I thought the steps we don't know what the fl floor level is going to be in this area until I've got it all leveled out but obviously it will be lower and then it'll be lower again to get to this side and then out the back door 
so my plan was that exiting this room whatever floor level i'm going to be at i wanted the steps on the outside or the pathway on the outside of the room and then i've just made this more of a curved more of a curved rather than just coming straight off the end of it just to be a little bit different and then you'll come out here down steps again to this level but because I wanted to get the, the other door in which I haven't done um, yesterday's or the day before whenever it was uh, when I put this door in it was such a dangerous stunt to do because I had to get to a level where I was happy and I ended up with a door balanced across here and the wind was blowing I took all these bits out here um, and I've got although the camera don't pick it up too well there's about a four foot difference from here to the far end and all I need to get past that window so I'm going to need to be somewhere around here where my foot is so let me come past it clean up the wall now from there well there's the doorway look there's the bottom of the window and I've got to get all the way up now the problem is the scaffolding when I've got it here it fouls up on this beam so I can only have two sections on it and then balance stuff on the top of it <coughs> excuse me so the plan <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> this dust <coughs> and again um, the plan now is if I can to get all of this all of this brickwork down flat and out the way and then instead of the um, scaffolding starting at the top which it was for the first window if that's cleared out or lowered I might be able to get three sections in <coughs> excuse me I don't know whether it will work or not but it just might put me in a safer position for working it because them doors are so heavy and I cannot realistically manage on my own without getting absolutely everything close to hand I can't ga gamble at putting one foot on the door step and one on this beam here I've got to have a platform that is solid safe and I can work off it because you only get a couple of chances if that wind's blowing it was a pig to put together uh, I thought I was going to trap my finger a couple of times and it, it doesn't tell you when it's coming but it, it was gusting and it's quite up there the wind blows across quite nicely at times uh, we've had rain today so it's been an indoor job anyway but as you can see there's still a lot I mean this job's got to be done anyway so I kept putting it off kept putting it off so I thought we'll get on with it because it's going to make this job safer this is really the job I've planned to do the window but uh, to get to that stage I've had to do one of my other jobs and it's, it has been all day doing it and there's going, it looks as though it's going to be another day tomorrow if I'm honest with you uh, and let's get fed up with it and then I'll move on to a different job that's it for today it's time for a scrub up and a beer 8 o'clock on a Monday morning doesn't look a bad day been up a couple of hours and we've had a first bit of success what performance it was compared to number one door we found the secret though secret is a preparation we had to put the move the scaffold across block it up so that that board is as close to the edge of that as it is because this is an heavy old door the other one was heavy but this one's even heavier but i'm quite pleased with what's gone on this morning already because yesterday was just moving a load of bricks and my back aches and i thought i don't fancy lifting that door but she's in there's a bit of minor adjustment to do but in theory we're we're done obviously i can concentrate on that at some point in the future but the immediate one is putting them beams in and getting that roof sorted out then at least at night time i should feel secure right we'll crack on we'll have a quick quick cup of coffee while we think about the next bit
Right, another couple of hours on, and you you never miss a trick. Well, all this um, platform's all set up like this, putting the door on. We realise that um, that wall there is higher up than what it needs to be. So what I've had to do is lower it a bit, or half of it. Now it's up to Kenny next door. He's, uh, he hasn't been for a couple of years, and I don't really know what his forward plan is. He don't. I can't imagine he's going to spend a lot of time repairing that. He'll probably take the walls down and use it as a courtyard or something, uh, if he's got any sense. But um, it's up to him. It's his property. But out of courtesy, I've just lowered my half of the wall so that it becomes somewhere near the bottom of the door because obviously this is going to be a flat roof so but I've got to leave it in some sort of uh, uh, waterproof scenario so I've got to try and make a slope with the tiles coming forward a lot lower slope than what was there before but I'm not unduly worried because there's nothing in this shed really that um, the weather will do and it's having a new roof on it next year or later on this year hopefully so i'm not too panicky it's just security and trying to do the right thing by it now the other thing what had happened here was that while i got my platform up was i decided to have a go at the render because most of the render is all flaky and crusty and it's going to fall it's going to fall off at some point so i've i've helped it on its way there's some bits that are stuck but most of it is uh, and i shall continue that side while I'm up and about dealing with things because that beam's got to be sorted out it fell through the wall yon side I can't leave it like that but again I'm going to lower that wall um, possibly take that beam out that cross beam or if not take it out fix it and lower it is probably a better option and then it'll give me some support for the roof tiles while I'm away this time but we'll see how we get on with it it's 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 doing all right so far. Another cup of coffee and uh, another rethink, and we'll crack on with something else. Had a bit of lunch, into, changed into my shorts because it still is cold in the mornings when you're up at six. Um, right, a word, a word of warning here. Other people who are are watching these videos and doing similar things, don't get caught out like I did, and watching other people doing them and thinking oh, I can do that. Um, I'd a go at making some beams to go across the top there didn't have a clue really other than the width of them what i needed found some old wood made myself a, some uh, a little bit of um a coffin if you like filled it filled it with gobbo put some rods in i thought away we go left it two or three days opened up i thought yeah they'll do now they're all they made of concrete yeah they've got bars through them yeah but the problem is they're not they're not properly strained and stressed so consequently like a lot of materials they do deflect under their own weight and on this occasion before i even put much weight on them there's cracking and crumbling so i'd put i'd fill the top up with all this sheet stone sheet stone as well which is to be honest with you, there's quite a lot of weight there, um, and it's only holding up the tiles. Um, but I thought, no, I'm not. I'm not having them. So be warned. Unless you know what you're doing, uh, you can sometimes get yourself into a bit of bother. Um, as it happens, I'm not too worried. I didn't do any damage, other than it cost me time because those beams in Portugal you don't throw it away. So they'll either get smashed up, and I'll use the rebar in the middle, or I'll cut them down and find a smaller job somewhere along the line um but i then went to suffragans and sought advice and joao there was an excellent guy and me trying to do it with three of these lintels when we calculated it we needed eight of these now these are more readily got um off the shelf basically and he advised me correctly what I needed to fill the gap. And it should be just straightforward. Plonk them on top in the right order, of course. And uh, they are pre-test uh, stressed in manufacture. So that means that there's a slight bow on them going upwards. And when you put the weight of the material on top of it, if there's any 
any excessive weight pushing down on the beam it will only straighten it but it is such as a minute one you probably can't even tell it but you do have to put it in with the bow going up uh, over the top if you get what i mean uh, so that is going to be the next next thing and for the aggravation factor of me playing at it and wasting all that time and energy these worked out at probably about six pound a piece which is stupid isn't it really so that's just our personal view if you if you're more than happy and you know what you're doing with regards to your beams carry on and your lintels but um, i feel a lot happier going down this route now um, and the fact that these have been made professionally rather than me just playing at it right end of lecture i must move on that's got the first beam in or lintel but there's going to be quite a lot of Quite a lot of um, brickwork to do rather than I think I've got to do the brickwork or the stonework while I can get to it because if I put all of the eight beams across here where they've got to go eventually it's going to trap me getting to it so I think I'm going to have to work backwards with it I think I'm still going to have to go outside and do something at, at some point but uh, um, it's about blocking the old up really now i've got the door on i want to block this hole up tonight so that when it gets a bit drafty uh, we won't be letting too many of the insects and bats and birds in oh yeah it's three o'clock now i've just made myself a cuppa and uh, i just wanted to show you how i'm working this this is my workstation got it all laid out lot sat on my scaffolding board getting a bit of sun on my legs I've got the first lintel in. Don't know that. There's my second one uh, coming up. It's actually here, look, ready to go in. But just look at this. You tell me anywhere where you could be working in this sort of environment. That scenery out there, there's a, a bit of a wind, but it's a lovely warm wind because it's a hot day here in Portugal again. And it's just. You just can't beat it, can you? Talk about living the dream. Anyway, I'll better crack on because I've got another seven of these to put up. And I did promise myself I'd do these today. And it's going well so far. Just coming up to six. I'm stopping for a bit of tea, but I'm going to crack on after tea because it looks like it's going to be a late one tonight. But I've got four. There's one above the door and then there's three this side of it. So that's four out of the eight. And I'm obviously having to start to rebuild where the tiles go as well as I go along. So I want to be, I want to be trying to shut myself in tonight. I won't be able to do the facing on the front, but if I, or the inside of the house. But I might be able to get the outside bit done and the tiles back in place just to confuse the old bat. But I, I dare bet you will find another hole because there's plenty of them about, and he seems to know where to find me. Uh, so about quarter to nine, he'll probably come visiting again. Right, I'm having a bit of tea. Good morning, everyone. Last night, I couldn't uh, show you how I finished off because it got too dark. Uh, it was a long old day yesterday, six in the morning till half past nine at night, but I had to get the job finished. Uh, progress report from yesterday. Uh, above the patio doors, or the French doors, just starting to lay some of the rock it's quite heavy chunky bits i've brought up but i've got a 22 inch gap to fill from front to back and obviously the frontage wants to look like the old stuff so it's got to be what is what it is heavy old stuff um 